Okay, howdy howdy everybody! Happy Friday! Welcome back to the Cataclysm and my channel. I am Vormithrax. We're playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are continuing a challenge. We're in the midst, eh, actually towards the end of our uh, MASH challenge. That's the Mobile Apocalypse Surgical Hospital Challenge. We have yet to set up our MASH area, but um, we're getting there. We've, we've got our, our, our nurses and doctors and assistants down in the basement here. We've... Uh, Managed to get our character into a somewhat survivable gear set, and now we're just on the final stages of getting some vehicles put together, finding our location, and getting things going. <laughs> hey there, Cold Kama. Cookies for Zombie Dog. Yeah, Zombie Dogs. It's too hot right now. Zombie Dog's sacked out and on the kitchen floor uh, where it's nice and cool. Um, but appreciate the tip for Zombie Dog. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so we're getting kind of towards the end. I think tonight might be the finale of this particular challenge. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but we might be able to finish it out. Kind of depends on a few things. But uh, there's the character. That's Hawkeye, our bionic surgeon. And uh, you can see we've got a few traits. We started with some of those, and we got lucky with a serum that uh, gave us four points of strength. And I haven't been uh, brave or stupid enough to take any more mutagens since then, because I don't want to get something terrible I have to purge out. And end up losing that four points of strength. Uh, so yeah, and we got a few extra bionics added in. So we got the leukocyte, that's always great. And a few other fairly minor ones, nothing too uh, exotic uh, beyond the leukocyte. Uh, but that by itself is fairly helpful, considering the uh, imperceptive healer trait that we took. So if you're not familiar, imperceptive healer is one of the bad ones. That's the eight-pointer that makes it so you only heal 10% of the normal health uh, while you're sleeping. So it makes healing any kind of damage really, really slow. you got to be really careful about even incidental damage because it piles up pretty quickly and it's really hard to get back again. Uh, you can see some skills. We're pretty high up on most of the skills for the crafting side and even a few of the combat ones. Um, even though we're a pacifist, we got some of that the hard way and some of it we got from NPCs we've been learning from. Uh, the two of note that I'm still trying to get up, or actually three, computers, I need two more levels, electronics, I need two more, and mechanics, I need two more. In order to finish out a few last couple of cool things I'd like to do, that's uh, that's what I'd like it to accomplish. Hey there, Fracture64, yeah, stream just started, a couple minutes, so I'm in my intro synopsis, here's the status stage, so we'll get things rolling here in just a minute, you're right on time. Uh, so yeah, so if I can manage it, I'd like to get two more points in each of those skills. Um, we managed to pick up the raw materials for the mythical cargo dimension. I can't remember if I have ever actually gotten all of the items during one of my live stream challenge series. I don't think I have. So I'm going to put a lot of effort into actually building that thing. If nothing else, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I don't typically need it, but um, yeah, it'll be cool to show off if we can get a couple more levels. I need two more levels of electronics and two more mechanics. You need eight and eight in those two in order to get it built and get it installed successfully. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to manage that. So if we do, great. If we don't, mm, oh well. I may, uh, in the, let's. it's time to suicide the character phase just as a demonstration, cheat my way up the last couple of skill points just so I can kind of show how it works. Although I do have a quick tip episode on the cargo dimension, if you're really curious. Um, I did it in one of my Let's Plays. I think I did it in my... was it my tutorial series? I don't remember. I've got so many challenge series now, I, I've lost track of what I have and haven't accomplished in some of them. But it's been a really long time, even if I have done it. So, however, that's just one of the things going on. But uh, you can see, skill-wise, we're doing pretty good. Here's our gear. We actually, at the end of last episode, finally, finally, <laughs> after like 24 hours of uh, playthrough so far on this challenge, managed to get a decent set of gear put together. Uh, we had a really, really irritating slash entertaining roadblock in that we had no metal sawing capability whatsoever. And uh, a hacksaw is one of those things where you have to have a hacksaw to make a hacksaw. So... We managed to kind of fudge our way through it. Uh, it's not technically you have to have a hacksaw. You have to have metal sawing to get a hacksaw. Uh, so we managed to do it with a uh, uh, multi-tool. Multi-tool we finally got off of a zombie in a lab. Gave us metal sawing one, which got us the minimum amount we needed to get the metal working rolling. And uh, after that, we just had to grab some uh, Kevlar and the rest of the parts but we got basically a full heavy survivor suit set to put together. Uh, I've never actually put together a full heavy survivor suit, so I'm kind of curious how well it does. 
I usually go for lighter fare. I like maneuverability above all else for survivability. I'm very much a uh, move and maneuver kind of guy. So I don't often do this kind of heavy stuff. So I'm just curious how it's going to work and uh, see what we can do with it. So we got the heavy survivor helmet, heavy survivor suit, gloves, boots. The only thing I went different was the, the mask. I just cannot go with a heavy mask. The uh, encumbrance on the eyes and the mouth is just too much. I don't want to constantly be taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on. So, yeah. But uh, for weapons, we're uh, packing a steel spear, a kukri, and a uh, combat knife, as well as a pistol. You should do a four fun run. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> um, all my funs are, all my runs are fun. In one way or another. Even when I die horribly, I have fun. So, uh, yeah. So, full heavy, full heavy survivor gear. Uh, we've got the survivor backpack. We've got the utility belt with all our tools. Uh, with the kukri attached to it. Which is a really good utility uh, setup. So, if you're not familiar with it. Um, and, yeah. So, by doing that, we've got our carry volume down to 415. With all of these random items. All of which are really, really tiny. We can also see a ridiculous distance on the overworld map as we travel, so I'm hoping to take advantage of that between our uh, survivor telescope, our binoculars, and our uh, our vision. We've got the telescope eyes vision as well. Um, <laughs> whatever I want, my ideal start. I I enjoy the low power stuff. I, I I need the challenge in order to have any kind of a fun. I almost never go with high power stuff. I always play with multi-pool and the most restrictive character build and tend to take the worst traits and low stats and so on. So, I don't know. I'm odd that way. I like the low power stuff more than the high power stuff. That's why I get bored with the game towards the mid-late game. There's just not enough really to do. But uh, I like the early game challenge. But that's just me. I'm weird. Um, so yeah, that's our gear. Here's our map. If you haven't been following along, we've pretty much been in this starting location the entire time. We've cleared this lab fairly comprehensively. We've mostly cleared this lab. A couple of barracks that I just can't bring myself to bother going up to. We had a bit of entertainment up this way last episode. Uh, I'm going to put up some a YouTube video of the entertaining portion there. Uh, both a cautionary tale as well as uh, what happened immediately afterwards. So that'll probably be up tomorrow. And uh, yeah... Our goal currently, unless something better comes along, is I'm planning to work my way down to the refugee center here. And this is where we're going to set up our MASH hospital. So we'll probably do it in the back corner here, where we've got a big living area with tons of beds. We'll set up our hospital area there, and I'll assign the NPCs and all that kind of stuff. We'll have to clear the refugee center out, and uh, we'll do some boarding up and some prep and all that kind of stuff. But after that, we'll be pretty much done with the challenge, and we'll figure out a, a fun way to go out. Uh, that's assuming I don't find somewhere else that I would rather get set up between now and then. All right, so big problem right now. We just got geared up. We're not quite full health yet after some recent uh, adventures. And uh, we're getting towards the bottom of a few opportunity pools. Um, I need to get a gun, and I think I've figured out a combo I can use that'll be somewhat effective. To take with us and then uh, we're gonna go do a test run down in the city on the next night it's already too late I want to do a night run into the city see if we can do some deeper rating to get a few things and actually look for a um, solar vehicle I need to get uh, a solar car back here to the base uh, in order to work on like a motorcycle or uh, a vehicle that I can travel with and all my buddies I'm gonna need to have uh, Regenerative power. So I need some solar panels or something that'll recharge batteries for the welders. Otherwise, I'll run out of battery power pretty quick. And I don't want to do all the other fancy stuff. So that's kind of the plan. We're going to do some adventuring down into the city. Hopefully we don't get dogpiled and killed, but uh, it could happen. We'll see. Um, ideally, I'd like to get a motorcycle put together and then uh, a travel vehicle for the gang. So the gang is all hanging out in the basement, doing whatever they do down here. Hey, gang. Only one of these folks can still teach me anything useful. Um, so we've, we've pretty much learned all that is useful to learn um, from four out of five of them. But, uh, yeah, they're on permanent lockdown because they're, they're still brain-dead suicide monkeys. Okay, so let's kind of get things rolling. We are hungry and turgid. Uh, I have no status problems to deal with. Everything else is in good shape. 
gear I may or may not try to reinforce some of this stuff actually I'm I, I can't remember with the changes now what you can and can't reinforce I'll probably just leave them the way they are fix up my backpack and uh, get the gun taken care of first then we will kind of figure things out from there so where do I have hitters kits come here you yeah yeah stand next to the computer All right, give me your backpack. <laughs> Decayed zombie plus others, it seems like. Come here, you. You can't really. Theoretically, you can't hurt me. Let's lead him outside. Alright, not sure where you came from. <laughs> Can't repair the wool socks because I don't have wool. Hmm, small chance I'll damage it. Uh, not worried about the strap or the holster. Um, none of that needs work. All right, so we got all the major parts reinforced. Yay! Combat knife's in fine shape. Uh, the pistol. All right, let's look at the uh, weapons real quick. All right. Um. I don't have any gunsmith repair kits. What I'm gonna do though, oops, grab um, grab the SIG and two H and Ks. Unload Mr. SIG and unload the magazine. Unload the H and K. And then I want... Oh, they're all using Stonog magazines. All right, well, that, that helps. Come here, you. Reload full. So now we've got a full magazine. And now you reload with the magazine. All right, so there we go. Now we've got the uh, Perfect Strength H&K 416A5 with 30-round magazine. Uh, more than I'll likely use... I don't think I'm going to bother to carry the spare eight bullets that I've got. So, we'll dump the rest of the stuff. That's about it for uh, my weaponry. I don't have anything a really good combination beyond that. Oops. And the L523 also fives two two threes. That'd give me, what, 23... Might be worth packing around. So, got a full load and a eh, three quarter. Um, I don't have any pouches that'll hold this, right? Put the combat knife away. Uh, 
So, here's what our encumbrance looks like. This is with a uh, spear strap and the survivor backpack. We're at uh, 44 torso encumbrance, which I'm willing to go with. Um, just so I don't have to keep fiddling with things. Gives me an okay amount of carry capacity. Um, I'm debating taking something with me, like another uh, heavy backpack or a duffel bag. If I need really large amount of carry capacity, but uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, for combat means we've just got uh, the one main layer, the heavy survivor suit, really. Nothing else is really designed to protect, so that's our complete coverage. Um, we've got temperature range, so... I'm really debating dumping the spear strap and uh, putting something else on my torso. So this gives us 2024, which is pretty good, but uh, that's kind of what I want to test. I don't want to fiddle with it yet. I want to go do a test in town, see what and how much damage we take, take from various types of sources and then kind of adapt when we come back in. So I'll hold off on that for now. Um... Let's see. Nah, I don't want to put a strap on that thing. I don't want anything else on my torso right now. I'll carry it. Alright, so let's dump the Taylor's kits. Everything else. Activate this restaurant guide. It's not really going to do me much use. Oops. Uh, if I take the duffel bag and carry it with me, that puts me at 13 out of 19. So I wouldn't be able to pick up much. But I don't need a whole lot. So it kind of gets to a point where... What would I pick up to bring back? I'm going to have to think about that. Got a leather backpack. I think I'm going to take the leather backpack instead of the duffel bag. I think that'll give me plenty. So, were I to throw that on... Yeah, 63. That's that's getting up there a bit. And gets us up to 29. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. Alright, uh, 6 a.m. I want to sleep today. Get some health back, and then we're going to take off in the morning. Or when the sun goes down, I mean. So... Anything else I want to set up? Familiar with the aquaponics update, anyone? No, nope, no idea about the aquaponics update. I will be updating experimentals when I finish out this challenge run. Alright, so we'll need that. Probably don't need the blindfold and the earplugs. I take them with me because they don't weigh much, and I found if I get in trouble and I have to hole up for the night, especially with Z-levels on, uh, it helps to have those so you can sleep in odd locations with noise or light and so on. You have to. So, let's see. Take one more bottle of disinfectant. I learned my lesson on that one. All right. Um... Yeah, the goal is to finish this challenge out tonight. We'll see. We, we got some things we got to get done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spathy. Wow, that's an interesting last name. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm going to say Galouch. <laughs> Galouched. I'm going to assume the P is silent on that one. Huh. Do I want to go say howdy? Last time one of those guys showed up, we learned that uh, crossbows are stupid overpowered or that NPC had crazy high skills. Because he had a standard early crossbow with wooden crossbow bolts and he was shooting me... He shot me, what, in the head, in the arm? And I was taking 15 points of damage 
from a crossbow bolt with heavy survivor gear on. It was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, and I have no quest items for NPCs any longer. I don't have any more inhalers. Yeah, I think I'm going to ignore him. I've already got five NPCs in the basement. <laughs> And they use the lotion when I send it down into the pit, so they're well behaved. All right, let's. Um, I'm worried if I sleep, this guy's gonna wander in and start helping himself to my stuff. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's go either chase him off or kill him, whatever's necessary. Oh, it's another... Is this the kill my mother one? Yeah, this is the kill my mother one. Sure, I'll do it. Not a problem. See you later. Oh, look, another crossbow bull, a crossbow user. So I, I am going to get shot again if I had fought him. Oh, never mind. He's got a mouth most in the gaunt. Yeah, that would have been a problem. That definitely would have been a problem. Now he's going to follow me straight back to my base and steal all my crap. That's the way this usually works, right? Yep, running straight from my base. Please go around. Nope, here he goes, right into my base. God damn it, I hate this. <laughs> How much of my stuff are you picking up? He's busy pulping. Or no, he's not pulping. I'm not sure if he grabbed anything. I couldn't see when he was... Uh... Oh, yeah, he picked up some items. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... I would kill him on sight, but now he's friendly. I'll get this massive, horrendous uh, morale negative for a long time. Uh, I have no idea what he grabbed. Probably stuff I really, really want. <laughs> Let's see where the, uh, so we have to go there to kill his mom. Uh, which is right off of the nameplate. This place is going to be just massively congested with zombies. It's going to be super hard to identify which zombie is his mom because of this setup. Had they put it anywhere else, I'd be okay. But putting it right on near, almost nearly on the nameplate is just, that's terrible. That's terrible. Well, killing him's not as easy as it seems. He could be an NPC like the one I've got in the basement with nine marksmanship, nine rifle skill, with a Mosin Nagant. <laughs> I mean, that could be my death sentence. Short of running him over in the tank, that'd be the easiest way to deal with him. <laughs> Go away, dude. Whatever you stole, just keep going. I want to force him out of the tree line here and then run him over. <laughs> I don't want to put up with that kind of stuff. I have no idea what he might have grabbed. I'll deal with the uh, negative. Once again, the camera system didn't work. Well... Is it working? Yeah, I don't think it's working. Where are you at, NPC? Still on the tree line? No, he's not in the tree line. Alright. He's just kind of moving fast. There he is. Don't make me run over a tree. Alright, there we go. Mission failed. Come on, tree. <laughs> Grabbed all my lighters, apparently. <laughs> well, they didn't grab any. Oh, there it is. There's there's some stuff. 
most of this he had on. MRE, bullet puller. I don't think I ever picked up a bullet puller. But it doesn't look like he grabbed anything I would have cared about all that much. We'll take one lighter, some thread. And yeah, we'll take the good lighter. All right. So there's the problem right there. And that's going to be there a while. I can't even boil water with that going on. That's that's the danger. That's what you got to be careful of. Uh, we'll just relocate the tank. Didn't even look at how much gas I have left. Eight point three. Considering what I went through to get that gas, I don't want to waste any of it. I think that screecher's coming for me somewhere. There he is. Let's go, Kukri! Where are you at, screecher? Hey, he dazed me. <laughs> Stop running. And we're about bingo on power. Let's uh, use the furnace. Mm, not going to let me eat any of that stuff, huh? Mm. Halligan bar. So many problems. Uh, feel. Do I not have my crowbar with me? I'm not seeing a crowbar. power is it's not very much. Is it 260? It is 260. Alright. Yeah, there we go. So, now we just gotta <laughs> keep waiting off of this thing. Like I said, I couldn't even boil water right now if I wanted to. So, hopefully we sleep off enough of it. Um, let's throw a bandage on there. Grab up a few more. I think it's Lizette that can still teach me. Yeah. Alright, Lizette, let's learn. I think I've been working on bashing weapons is what I've been doing. 
just in case I ever switch to one. Okay. <laughs> Didn't fall asleep until almost 1 p.m. Huh. What the hell? Could have made an explosion like that. There is... What the hell could have caused that? There's no minefields nearby. I'm kind of worried about what I'm going to find when I go upstairs. <laughs> Still got this massive uh, negative. <laughs> Well, hey there, zombies. Did the uh, zombies come along and uh, make a mess? Still got my vehicles. Everything looks okay here. I, I have no idea what that explosion was. There's, like I said, nothing around me that should have uh, blown up. I can't think of any... Oops. Necromancer out on the road. That's eh, fine. Yeah, I, I don't know. Got me. I have a cookie. I have a toast um, Some cereal. And... Oh, hey there. Hey there. I saw a Hulk. <laughs> now I can hear a Hulk. Um, yeah. <laughs> All my NPCs in the basement are making noises. <laughs> I think there might be a Hulk tearing apart the bottom corner of my building here. I just about got myself back to full strength again. I don't want to use a gun right on my base. Two of my NPCs are dead? Really? That's uh, interesting, if true. Nah, they're all fine. Those are, those are zombies. Why that one's out of breath, I couldn't tell you. Alright, hey there, Mr. Hulk. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, how do I want to deal with Mr. Hulk? I could shoot him, but that makes a lot of noise, going to draw a lot of stuff here. Could uh, try to run him over in the tank. That's going to take a lot of warm-up and movement. And it's dark. It's just going to be hard for me to kind of find him. He's pretty quick. I got full stamina. But I'm not very fast. My speed's down a bit. And uh, this gear is fairly heavy. So it's going to slow me down. We've got uh, 30 and 25 on our leg encumbrance. And 27 on our feet. It's going to slow us down. Hmm... I don't have any of the CBMs that are going to let me take his super punch without taking a lot of damage. Um, and I saw a bunch of other zombies flashing along out here when I was passing time. I saw the Necro, I saw the Hulk, and I saw three or four other zombies flash out in that area. So it could be a little more dangerous than it seems out here. I, I think the thing to blame is whatever that explosion was. I still don't know what caused the explosion. For the life of me, I can't figure out what could have gone boomy like that. Minefield nearby, I'd understand, but I've never... 
I don't know. I've never had an explosion in an area that's been completely cleared like this area. And the noise that it made has summoned a whole bunch of zombies in the area. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I think we're going to go to run mode. Dude, you are booking it. Here go the walls again. I'm gonna run out of. Got the crowbar in my hands. That's not what I want. I think. I uh, don't want to take hits from a, from a Hulk. It's gonna hit me a bunch. I'm not sure how much is gonna penetrate heavy survivor gear. Super Punch by itself is going to do a whole row of damage to all my body parts, though, which I really, really don't want. I don't have enough stamina to outrun this guy reliably. Yes, I'm too slow. I am too slow. I'm going to have to fight this guy, which is really annoying. <laughs> Seems like every single time I've gotten my health just about to full, something like this happens. All right, let's um let's get the kukri out. I'm debating between the kukri and the spear. Kukri is going to be hella fast compared to the spear. A spears, I, I'm not really worried about penetration on a Hulk. He's just got a lot of hit points, not a lot of armor. Let's see here. Not going to be dodging anything. We're at four piercing, three cutting. Have stamina and bionic power been swapped back finally? <laughs> I'm not running any kind of mod. This is just the standard classic version of the uh, oops version of the interface. So I'm just running classic. Only thing I've turned off is the armor. So this is the arrangement nowadays. I don't remember when it was different. Yeah, I just don't see a way of me getting out of this without having to fight this guy and taking some damage. If I try to clamber into a vehicle, I can't get enough lead on him to get into the vehicle and get it going before he's going to smash his way through it and punch me into the dashboard. So, safer that he punches me here, I land on the grass, and then hop up and start fighting and hope I can drop him before a second punch lands, which I doubt. I think I'm going to take two super punches. Either that, or I uh, uh, try to whip out the H and K and burst fire him. Here's the enter entertaining thing about the H and K. Whoops. Uh, Fourteen round auto fire. <laughs> that's uh, that's quite a few rounds out the barrel. Yeah, the painkillers would be good, but you got to realize I've got a limited amount of things I can get done with the uh, action points before he's going to punch me. So I'm debating. I think I'm going to swap the weapon out now. He's going to punch me. And as soon as I stand up, I'll take the painkiller while he comes towards me. And then I will uh, start swinging. I'm just trying to decide. i got to make a decision between the Kukri and uh, the Steel Spear. I'm having a problem figuring out which one I'd rather use against him. I'm hoping my heavy armor is going to absorb some of his standard damage. I'm not sure if it will or not. Um, I 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll take the damage instead of uh, firing the gun and drawing more stuff towards me. I'd rather have not be sitting here trying to defend my base for the next two hours. Let's go with. Steel Spear. We'll start with the Steel Spear. So, activate Steel Spear. I'm just going to dump the crowbar to save on the action point cost. Alright, Steel Spear's out. And then we're going to take a Codeine as a Pain Prep. Because he's going to bring it. He's going to bring some pain. <laughs> Ouch, something hurts. Eh, we didn't take much damage yet. Stop eating. Ignore. Ignore. Ah, oh, there's the damage. Did I actually get the... I got painkiller status, so that must have been the codeine. Yeah, there's the damage I didn't want to take, so... Ripped my uh, spear strap. Right. Charge! Where are you, punk? Uh, ouch. Please don't be any trees behind me. Damn it. I don't want to fight you right here. So, we're getting good hits in. 42, 45. We're getting criticals. Heavily injured. Gonna be close. We might get him finished. Only 22 that time. Tag me again. Hey, he hit me in the eyes. <laughs> the one place. The one place where I don't have heavy armor. Ah, <laughs> oh, smart. There's, this, this is a smart Hulk. <laughs> he knows to go for my eyes. Ah, crap. Got a second super hit on me. Hunk. All right. That's pretty much exactly what I expected. Two super, two super punches. Unmanageable pain. He brought a Mossberg. Yeah, let's hang out here for a second. Get our stamina back. So that's kind of annoying. That's uh, that's about two and a half days worth of sleep <laughs> for me to heal that up. Whoops. So that part sucks. Anybody else hanging out in the base? Everybody down here okay? Uh, <laughs> here I was about to head out onto a trip down to town. So I got everything pulped so the Necromancer, if he shows up, isn't going to raise the Hulk. That's always fun. It's always hilarious when you kill a Hulk and he stands right back up again because there's a Necro hanging around just outside of your vision range. That's good times there. <laughs> All right. No more running. Man, that is a lot of damage. Ugh, like I said, <laughs> I, I, I've only once had a full thing of health this entire challenge run. Beams down to mild. Painkiller effect is going to take care of that. Um... Yeah, let's wander around a bit, see if we can clear the local area. Yeah, shock zombie! There's a cluster. So that's not good news. Hanging out right in my area here, and I don't have any good way of dealing with shock. Short of shooting it, which I really don't want to do. Yeah, stupid shady zombies following me. Um, debating firing off a round, then running southwest and firing off another round to try to attract them to me. Let's do this. Where are you? Uh, maybe I'll use the captured Mossberg. Yeah, let's use the Mossberg. If I can get a shot off on that guy with him not being surrounded by buddies and no shady zombies right on top of me. We'll try that. 51% chance of a headshot. 
Alright. Okay. 95% critical. Down he goes. Now that he's taken care of. Uh, here's the problem. If I don't pulp him or get rid of him, he's going to get back up again. Plus, there's the necro in the area. The noise is going to draw things to this spot. And I should move down to, like, here and fire again. Let's, um, switch back to this. Uh, let's, let's go to the Kukri this time. Yeah, <laughs> he got back up. There's the Necro in the area. Oh, so fun. Always a good time when you've got a uh, Necro hanging out. Where are you at, Necro, you pain in the ass? Oh, got the Acid Zombie too, do we? Alright, can we get to the Acid before he spits again? Nope. He's going to get back up again because the damn Necro's in the area. Where are you at, Necro? There he is. Good times, good times. Love fighting zombies in the dark with a Necro nearby. He's going to be a little tougher to take down. Whoops. No, no grabbing. God damn it, they're protecting his ass. Alright, Necro's down. Now I can start chopping stuff up. Keep ripping my stuff up. That's beer strap and my survivor backpack. Alright, that's that's not cool. Let's um drop the backpack. That's gonna drop a lot of other random gear. It's gonna drop like all the random. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few occasions where I've had uh, dual necromancers kill one, the other one raised him. <laughs> that was that was pretty hilarious. Doesn't happen real often, but every once in a while. Uh, I think the rest of these I'll be able to kill as they come towards me. Hey there, acid zombie. Um, damn it, now they're protecting the acid zombie. End up with a pool of acid right on my feet. Okay, still got the shock zombie and friend over here. Those we can handle though. We got most of the tough stuff taken care of. Only took a little bit extra damage. Good times. All right, let's throw the backpack on again. all of our gear. Get the Mossberg back out. Uh, Alright, where's the... Confused. Didn't I kill the Necro right around here? And maneuver.
more and more stuff showing up from the noise that I'm making. <laughs> Alton Lump Vu. I don't remember an Alton Lump Vu. Where the hell did Alton Lump Vu come from? Did he show up while I was fighting these guys, or did, did he attract them? Maybe he's the one that made the explosion. That would explain it, actually. An NPC with some kind of uh, explosive option showed up. Maybe uh, that's what happened. All right. Um, yeah, let's get our walk mode, our stamina back. And turn on auto bolt. Um, That was everything. I fought in this little area here. Oh, Necromancer. Now he's gone. Alright, come on. You're still pulping things. Get it done. Lot of stuff. Ooh, V8. V8 and fruit others. Laptop. Alright, Pulp Shocker. Northeast. Right here. No, oh, that's right, I can't uh, I can't dissect either because of that. <laughs> Always good time. Uh, the auto pulp should not have pulped the uh, acid zombie. So where'd you go, Spitter? Oh, I can't even pulp the Spitter. Or I mean, I can't even butcher him. That's um, that's kind of rude. He's gonna get up again, uh, unless I'm willing to smash it and take the chance of getting acid on me. I'm willing. And yeah, we took a little bit of damage. Alright, so we got some items. Surprised nothing else has shown up to uh, fight me. Guess we'll consider that good enough for the moment. Let's go drop some stuff off. All right, Mossberg was doing good. I think that's partially due to our really high skills. What are we up to now? Shotgun not that high, only five, but uh, marksmanship nine. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm going to adopt that anyway. I'll keep those... Oops, the laptop. Okay, let's get moving. Get done what I was actually trying to get done. We don't have to worry about trying to go kill the NPC's mom. Um, where did 
I want to go? I always trying to go bank rating. Mechanic six wouldn't be too bad, assuming that the uh, bank's sentry bot doesn't get in the way. I don't have a good way of dealing with those. Don't have a control laptop. Don't have any EMP grenades with me. I have to shoot them from range, which we can definitely do. That would be probably straight south and then west. Or do we go west and work our way south through these houses? Already midnight. Um, and I don't have rollerblades still. So this is going to take longer than I'm used to. I'm used to just rollerblading through towns at this point. Um... All the houses up in there, or the areas up in here, the commercial stuff just all sucks. So useless. Alright, drizzles cutting down on my view range. You can't see it very well, but that is a perfectly landed acid pool. <laughs> Spitter zombie dumped it directly around me. Well played, acid zombie, or spitter zombie, well played. God damn stupid things. <laughs> uh, more damage I didn't need. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go this way. 